Remember these guys? Well, it turns out they existed. Yup. Turns out The Hobbit isn't just a work of fiction. J.R.R. Tolkien definitely knows something we don't. Turns out that there was an ancient human species known as Homo floresiensis that was only a little over a metre tall. This is why people refer to them as The Hobbit. At the beginning of this millennium, most paleoanthropologists thought that only our species, Homo sapiens, had been able to move from Southeast Asia to New Guinea and Australia. Homo erectus did make it to Java, which is now an island, but when Homo floresiensis was found on a remote island in Indonesia, it changed everything. Homo floresiensis used to live on the Indonesian island of Flores, hence the name Homo floresiensis. The island is far away and about 500 kilometers east of Java, and all the fossils that have been found so far were in a huge cave called Liangbua, which literally means cool cave. Homo floresiensis was found in 2003 by an archaeological team led by Mike Morwood. The team kept digging at Liangbua and found more than 100 Homo floresiensis fossils, including a piece of a female skeleton called Liangbua 1 or LB1 and pieces of at least 13 other people's fossils. The most complete Homo floresiensis fossil found so far is the LB1 skeleton. When she died, the woman was only 1.05 m tall and maybe 30 years old. It's not clear when Homo floresiensis first showed up on Flores, but the oldest remains are at least 100,000 years old, and some stone tools that are thought to have been made by Homo floresiensis are as old as 190,000 years. At first, archaeologists thought that Homo floresiensis was the skeleton of a modern human kid when it was first found. But the tiny brain had brow ridges that aren't found in modern humans, and the person had fully grown wisdom teeth, which showed that it was an adult and not a child. Several ideas have been put forward about why Homo floresiensis was so small. The team that found Homo floresiensis first thought that a group of Homo erectus people travelled from Java to Flores, maybe by boat, and then shrank over hundreds of thousands of years once they got there. A perfect example of insular dwarfism, which is also called island dwarfism. This is when big animals that live alone on islands get smaller because they have less food and can't defend themselves from big predators. Shrinking might have been a good way to deal with living on an island with few resources since a smaller body and brain use less energy. And no, this is not a short person joke. Some other experts think that Homo floresiensis is not a separate species, but instead a group of Homo sapiens with a condition like microcephaly in which the brain grows to be smaller than normal. Either way, these are all theories. Homo floresiensis went extinct around the same time as the Neanderthals when modern human groups were growing and spreading around the world. In such, the only proof that Homo floresiensis lived on Flores is that they made stone tools about 50,000 years ago. So, what do you think about this discovery? Do you think Sauron ended up wiping them out? Let us know in the comments. That is all we have for you today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the cute little bell down below so you can stay updated with more informative jaw-dropping discoveries like this. And if this is your first time of hearing about Homo floresiensis, then hit the like button to give us a like. It lets us and YouTube know that we are doing a good job of keeping you informed. Thank you for watching. Till next time.